Hi everyone, welcome to another video of mine. Today I will be taking you on a walk along Flinders Street in the Melbourne Central Business District. Today's walk is in between Spring Street and Flinders Street Railway Station. Now just a bit of background on this area, well, on the street. So Flinders Street forms the southern edge of something called the Hoddle Grid. The Hoddle Grid was named after the surveyor Robert Hoddle, who marked the area out in the year 1837 and which established the first formal town plan of Melbourne. And Melbourne was established in 1835 by a gentleman called Mr. Batman and there is a park named after him as well and which was actually going to, going to be the name of Melbourne called Batmania which was named after him so not after superhero Batman named after Mr. Batman who founded Melbourne in 1835 the street is named after the English explorer Matthew Flinders who was actually erroneously credited with discovering the Port Phillip Bay which is in, in Melbourne so it extends eastward towards Spring Street and originally it was westward to Spencer Street but it does come down, come, continue past Spencer Street but I won't be walking all the way there today so Flinders Street served Melbourne's original river port the customs house and now is the site of, Victor of the Victorian Immigration Museum, which is on Flinders Street. I have a short video on this Immigration Museum Which I will link later on in the description The street is home to Melbourne's Mel Flinders Street railway station And which is a central railway station for su the suburban rail network Also tram routes 70 and 75 as well as the city circle route run along Flinders Street the city circle used to run clockwise and anti-clockwise, not only runs in the clockwise direction. So the other landmarks of Flinders Street include the Federation Square, which we'll be walking past a bit later on, I'll be walking through it. St. Paul's Cathedral, which is an Anglican cathedral, and you will be seeing that later on in the video, as well as Melbourne Aquarium and Batman Park. So there are quite a few nice buildings in the area and from when Melbourne was just developed as well. On my left is where the Melbourne train trains come in, so it's like a rail yards pretty much. The eastern suburbs and southeastern suburbs train lines come in from this direction and go into Flinders Street Station. The northern suburbs come in from a different line and the western suburbs come in from a different section as well but they all converge into Flinders Street Station. The site of there is also a former fish market which actually forms on the western end of Batman Park which unfortunately I won't be in this video but I will shoot another video later on of Batman Park. So this is all the trees and the plants actually covering the rail yards which is on the left. It is actually quite a warm day when I shot the video. It was in the high 20s Celsius and I did go plane spotting as well earlier in the, in the day. It's getting closer to summer which is good. I am actually one of my favorite seasons is summer. And then I, then I followed by spring, autumn and winter. I'm not a big fan of the cold. I prefer the warmer weather. 
Yesterday I had my own lunch. I had my own lunch. I bought some sandwiches, which I had on the way home. I didn't didn't have lunch in the city. However, I did buy some coffee and raisin toast for brunch. But I made my own sandwiches. The raisin toast was really good, and as well as the coffee, I had cappuccino. So coming up is Federation Square, which is on the left. So Federation Square. I have shot a video on Federation Square earlier on, so this is just um, I'm just gonna walk along along the outside and. A little later on, will be some interior, some of the interior as well. So the Federation Square, just a back, some background, is a venue for arts, culture, and public events, which is on the edge of the Melbourne Central Business District. It covers approximately 7.9 acres and is on the intersections of Swan Flinders and Swanson Street, and is above the the rail yards so in, in the um, federation square there is australian center for the moving image which you can which i just walked past as well as the ian porter center and a few, few more other nice cafes and pubs so this is also like a main meeting point for a lot of melbournians as well as in the street station as well so there are approximately 9.7 million visitors that come through to Flint, to this area, Federation Square. And it is quite an interesting layer as well and design. And I have actually been here on numerous occasions. Yes, I've lost count as to how many times I've been here since it opened. See that Australian center of the image as well. So we're actually coming up to the busier part of the Melbourne area, the Melbourne Central Business District. The part of Flinders Street that I was walking on is not that busy. However, coming up to Flinders Street Station, it does get busy, and Federation Square is also relatively busy as well. That is St. Paul's Anglican Cathedral and is the seat of the Anglican Diocese of Melbourne. And that is one of the icons of the Melbourne city. At the moment, they're setting up for the Melbourne Fringe Festival, which is happening soon. Which I, I, haven't, I haven't been to any of the Fringe Festivals, but I would like to go to one day so we're entering Federation Square at the moment they are constructing a new underground railway station called Town Hall which will be linked up with Flinders Street Station so they're building five new stations in Melbourne that forms part of the Melbourne Metro and un underground here is called Town Hall Station. So there's be more trains more frequently. So coming on the left, we did see 7-Eleven. And we're coming up to Flinders Street Station now. Just built on the other side of the thing is Eureka Building, Australia 101. Now, chicken parma is quite good, and cocktail, $16 cocktails is also quite good at the timeout part. So, coming up to Flinders Street, so that is Flinders Street Station. There's also Eureka Building and Australia 101 Building, which I didn't mention a few seconds ago. So, we're coming up to the end of the video. So, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment leave and thank you everyone for watching have a wonderful day and i will see you in my next video thank you once again have a wonderful day